Welcome back to Great Day Houston. It is the giving season, and if you're in the position to give, we have Alexis Thompson with the Salvation Army of Greater Houston and Alexander Williams, Community Marketing and PR for KHOU Channel 11. Hello there. Hi. Hi. All right. It's time for one of those traditional things that we do every year, yes. and that is the uh, Secret Santa Toy Drive. Yes. And I think um, when you're a family that has you get it right you get your toys right. the whole bit but for so many kids that's just not an option and it breaks their parents heart that it's not an right. option because they're putting food on the table and that's a struggle that's right, right. so this right. is where we can all basically help Santa out if yeah. you will yeah absolutely yeah it's a, it's a great opportunity for people in Houston and everybody in Houston has such a loving heart and for people to really get involved and give to those who who are struggling with the decision of should I put a meal on the table or pay this utility bill or should I buy my child a Christmas present that's a struggle that as a parent no parent ever wants to go through that and yeah. so it's a really great opportunity for to support the Salvation Army and become a part of that secret Santa toy drive and and just really get involved in, in the holiday spirit. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful program. Yeah, and we never know, you know, I, I, from one minute to the next, uh, the critical need gets even more critical. That's like right. last year with Harvey, of course. That's right. Uh, people who didn't think they would be in the position to receive those gifts for their kids were in the position of having to receive those gifts for their kids. Right. And I was nervous about that, Deborah, last year, and we did 3,000 more toys year over year than wow. we did before giving her Kate Harvey, which was amazing. Yeah. So that yeah. was great. And, and on our end, we know that 40% of those that we helped last year was, were actually impacted by Harvey, which was a huge number, um, but but we were so grateful to be able to help them and be able to, to stand up in a really big way for those that needed us at that time. Yeah, yeah, and every toy you get, you could probably use several more toys, That's right? right? Yeah. yeah, we always have a goal every year, but there's always the need oftentimes exceeds that goal. Okay, so collected uh, last year, what, 18,708 toys? Yes. Wow, that mm -hmm. is awesome. Okay, the types of things that you guys use is what? Yeah, so basketballs and footballs and games, board games, dolls, um, singers' items. So yeah, both yeah, talks. yeah, items for seniors. And what I say is, is if you have a kid in your life, whether it's your own child or a grandchild, buy what you think that they would love. Because these kids that need toys are just like your kids yeah. and, and like the same things. And so really think of a kid um, that that you know and, and pick out what they might love to give to somebody who really needs it. Yeah, I, I do a lot of things for shelters, which we know sometimes the shelters will come into you yeah, all and right. say, hey, can we can you get us on the list? And the thing that always resonated with me was a child who said it's great to know that somebody else cares. Yes. They may not know who gave that toy, uh, but the thing is they know that someone in their community is basically hugging them right, from right. afar. And that somebody, so it's not really even the toy, it's the fact that somebody said, I'm gonna make sure that it gets into your hands. Right, right, and it's all about love. And and I think that the act of giving is is a loving act and, and to give at Christmas time is just a wonderful opportunity to love on people who need a little bit extra this holiday season. Yeah. You talk about love, I've also also interviewed several folks who've been through programs at yeah. the Salvation Army mm -hmm. and had not been for the Salvation Army they don't know where they would be today that's right that's right and so just give us kind of the constitution of how that got started and and you, you all do so many different services in the community yeah so the Salvation Army is one of the oldest social services organizations in the world and um, what we do in Houston is help those who have immediate needs um, we have for emergency shelters in the area and then we also help out during disasters like Hurricane Harvey last year and then we also help with enriching lives and so those programs are our community programs that occur at core community centers around our three county area alcohol and drug rehab that's right, which a yeah. lot of folks you know who yeah. are on the streets because of alcohol and drugs that's right. don't have access to some other programs right, and so exactly. this you get them in um, homeless shelters we know that's homeless a big shelters. issue in this in yes. this city but you are connected uh, in that as well social services yeah, yeah, social services. So those people that are struggling to, to put a meal on the table, we can help them too with rent and utilities. We can help them find housing, or sometimes we can even help prevent evictions before they happen to prevent people from even becoming homeless. Yeah, youth services also. Yeah, yeah. We have boys and girls clubs where we have after school and summer programs um, that are super affordable for people who are worried about their kids and what they're doing after school, and we have a really safe and enriching place for them to go. Yeah, and for us at KJ11, you know, we're yes. a station made up of people. Yes. Uh, we are part of the community. We're your next door neighbors. You see us in the grocery stores or whatever, yes, exactly. uh, the whole bit. And so for us, we feel like it's our responsibility, not just something good to do. It is our responsibility yes. to help when we
we can as well. And as you know, Deb, last year we flooded, you know, with mm -hmm. our building, mm -hmm. and we still adopted over 100 angels with our employees last year, given how we were kind of displaced, which was amazing. Yeah, some and people so, were displaced at work, or we all displaced exactly. at work, but others were displaced right. at work and at home. And we still got angels and gave them gifts, and it was just so heartwarming for the employees to even ask to do that again last year, given what was going on. Yeah, all right, so do we drop off toys? Uh, how, do we, how, do we, how, do we, how do we help Santa out? Sure. So yes, they will actually be at all of the locations that you guys yeah. have for um, distribution centers, and so there'll be a list on ktoyu.com backslash Secret Santa um, starting Thanksgiving Day. Okay. So. All right. So bring those toys in. In fact, I, I've started a tradition with my son. He gets one gift. Okay. Every, I say, what's your, of course, he, he's like, can it be a car? No. <laughs> no you're 14. No. Of course but he asked get, like, that. you know, one, one, like, little gift for Christmas, uh, but he will go shopping for other kids. Great. And I got to tell you, it just, he was so happy to do that. He goes, Mom, I really felt good in, in making sure that other kids got gifts. So the Secret Santa Toy Drive takes place Thanksgiving Day through December 21st. For more information, you can visit khou.com backslash Secret Santa. You get all the information you need there of the types of things that we need donated and uh, where you can drop them off at. Thanks, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.